guys, Crimson Lust here. Um, a few people have been asking me how I did my war paint mod, so I thought I'd make a tutorial to show you. What you're going to need is the Fallout Mod Manager. This has a BSA Unpacker in it. The BSA Unpacker just pretty much extracts um, BSA files so you can open them up and kind of work with the files inside of them. You also need a DDS plugin for whichever photo software um, photo editing software that you're going to be working with. I use Photoshop, so there's a DDS plugin for that. Um, you can use GIMP, which I know is free and has a DDS plugin too. Um, so all of these links will be in the description for you. Alright, so we're going to get started. Once you ins download and installed all that, um, you're going to want to go to my computer. Um, find wherever you have Steam. find the data folder. So you're looking for something called textures.bsa. This has all the textures that were used in Skyrim. So with our BSA unpacker we can now open that. Um, when it comes up, which game would you like to manage? Just say Fallout 3. It's fine. And once that opens up, you can either um, use the drop down menus to find the stuff you're looking for. So it would be under Actors, Character, or if you don't want to do that, there's a quick search option. So just type in war paint. Um, let's do. These are usually the ones you want to edit. These are just general female war paints, but there are some for like the individual races as well. These are the wood elf war paints, etc. Uh, let's just do female war paint 01. So we're going to extract that. We want to make sure we extract it to the right place. Um, so data, textures, actor, character, character assets, and tint masks. So save it there. All right. So we're going to want to open our data folder again. This time we're going to go to the textures folder and under the same place that we just put it so actors character character assets and tint masks there you'll find your female war paint so just open that with whichever photo editing software you're going to use so if you installed your dds plugin correctly then it should open up um, just go load using default sizes. So I'm just gonna do like a quick little, oops, quick little scribble here. Um, and I'll just show you um, what opacity does to war paints as well. Um, it also takes effect. So if you make it a little bit opaque here, then it will show up a little bit opaque on the war paint as well. So whatever, that's fine. I'll just save as. Hopefully your war paint will look a little bit nicer than that. Um, we're going to want to save it as a DDS. So in the same spot under tint masks in your data folder. So it already exists because we extracted it there, so we want to replace it. Um, for the compression, I just used the first one, um, TXT1, no alpha, so hit save. Everything else is fine there, so hit save. And if we load up the game right now with our um, War Paint in the texture folder, it will show up as a replacement for the first War Paint. Um, 
If you want to make an ESP of it, however, I'll show you that right now. So you load up your creation kit. And we're going to want to go to File and Data. We're going to load up the Skyrim ESM. Um, this is going to take a while, so I'll just cut it here and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got my Skyrim ESM loaded up. Um, we're going to want to go to Character. Um, in the drop down menu, we're going to want to click Race. So these are all the races. Um, let's say we're, we're just going to do Nord Living. So go to the Nord Race, click Edit. Um, we're editing a female, so make sure it's you're on the female. You want to scroll over to the tinting tab. So these are all the war paints. Um, we're going to want to replace the first one. So in the box, choose texture, click that. Um, here's our female head war paint. Make sure it is you're getting it from the common Skyrim data textures tint masks folder because if you get it from anywhere else then it won't work in the game. So click open and that will load it up. So if you just click, um, actually these are all the war paint colors um, and color values, but I'll get into that in the next tutorial. Um, so just click OK, that's fine. Um, file, then we want to create our archive. So just drag and drop any files that you've used to edit your mod in here. So we used this file, so just drag and drop and click Pack Files. Um, from there, you can either upload the plugin archive to Steam. Actually, we're going to want to save it, of course. So we're going to save it as War Paint Test. So from there, you can upload if you want, but first we're going to test it. Um, so I'm going to load up my game. Alright, so I just loaded up the game, um, just as a regular Dota game here. Um, we're going to want to take off our helmet though. So we can see our war paint. Um, bring up the console, type in show race menu. Um, this is just a quick way to get the character creation screen up. So exit console. Um, we did the Nord race. So that's good. Go to body. We did a female war paint, so just change it to female. Go to head. Um, let's just see if our war paint worked. So we replaced the first one, so it should be the first war paint. Which it did. Um, it's very hideous war paint, but it showed up. Uh, you can see the opacity levels that I did there. Um, hopefully you guys can make a better war paint than I did. Um, here are all the colors for them. So the colors are working because we only replaced the actual file and not the colors. So I will show you how to do colors in the next tutorial. Thanks guys.